I've never been politically involved, but this is so important to me. OBGYN Dr. Laura Andreessen says that in the two months since Tennessee's abortion ban passed, at least 50 of her patients have come into her clinic with serious questions about what this new law means to their reproductive health. What if I have an ectopic pregnancy? What if I'm bleeding to death? Should I move to another state to start a family? And the only thing I can do is tell them I will do the very best I can to provide the best medical care that I've been trained to provide. By passing an abortion ban that does not allow any exceptions for rape, incest, or the mother's life and leaves the doctor open to criminal charges, Dr. Andreessen says that politicians have created a gray area with lots of legal questions. They're putting us in a situation where we kind of have to let them teeter on that line to get really critically ill and then intervene. Whereas you could have a much better outcome for everyone involved if you intervene early. Stacy Dunn, president of the anti-abortion group Tennessee Right to Life, supports the new ban and says that good doctors don't have anything to fear. The target of this law were those uh, businesses who were profiting from the destruction of unborn children and because of the Human Life Protection Act, that will not happen anymore. Dr. Hendreessen has wanted to be a doctor since she was a child. But with this new law and the potential of having to stand before a criminal court and defend her medical decision to perform an abortion, she's thought about leaving that dream behind once and for all. I'd be dishonest if I said that doesn't cross my mind. I mean, there's implications for my family. I, if, I mean, I mean, I literally could go to prison, which is almost, well, it seems laughable, but it's not a joke. It's, it's a very realistic possibility. Mark Kelly, News 2.